difficult yeah. to know about these. Almost nobody ever blocks there with the obs, actually. The center one's very common. We saw it last game. Um, it might even catch that Observer Ward. It's pretty close. It is possible to place a sentry that sees both of these wards, though, right? If you place yeah, it like, like in, in the middle, right above, yeah, that the, should. By the tree. I feel like yeah, most people both. don't de ward there anymore, though. Yeah. They can't yeah, to the left it, or the right. It, 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 like, it got out of, like, it, it, out of favor, right? Yeah. Before that, used to nice always be like yeah, the ward yeah. spot. It was always that, and then on the bottom side in the middle. Yeah. And then people started putting ones on the right and left side that were not the most useful, but blocked really. It was like hard to catch them. So most people gamble. We'll see if they try to de ward. It's a safe Legion commander, so they don't even care. That's that's like that's wasted wards actually. Yeah, Similar to what we saw last game. So it looks like Sumail is gonna go mid. We thought Coop would go mid, but okay. I I, I like the lanes of C9 because Caudal Naga it's pretty annoying in, in the off lane. You got the two nukes they can spam it pretty much constantly. So. And lowers armor, which makes Caudal's damage actually even better because he's, he's got a good animation. His damage is a bit low, but he's still a range hero. So. And also how like PBD places. His uh, Earth Shaker, he doesn't really stay in the safe lane. He always like creates space, like either blocks bottom or stacks. But then now you see him rotating top because they saw the lanes. Double range versus one Witch Doctor. He's getting a little bullied. Ooh, dodges oh, dodges the old man. That's, that's pretty important. I'll, I, anyways, oh, dead there if he gets hit by that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even if he survives, he's completely zoned out of the lane, which is almost just as bad. I kind of feel like this is almost something old school. I'm trying, I'm thinking back like three years, people would run Caudal Naga lanes with like Ensnare into Illuminate. I feel like it's something I've seen before that there was like a short phase where that was a pick or, is, or a lane at that point. Uh, like, yeah, I maybe at TI3, was that it? Did they, Alliance run? They ran Caudal Naga as support duo. Yeah, support, yeah. I was going to say they, they ran it as a support. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, they ran a lot of Naga that tournament. It's a really nice setup for Illuminate. You so, can't really counterplay it. Very long range on both abilities. Like basically, the only one who could escape it is like uh, Mirana. Like no one, you can't blink out on that. Yeah. No. yeah. So Legion versus Beastmaster looks like a pretty good lane for Legion at least. So based on CS so far. How do you change his passive again? It's like the the chance to really, hit really it, really but the cooldown now. is very long, right? So the oh, it's not like okay. it, it can't like non-stop proc like before. Yeah, I think it's a lot better in the early laning stage now. It is. It, it procs so often, and the life steal is actually really high that like most of the time you're like you're only getting hit once or twice. But if you can proc during that time, you easily have the cooldown by yeah. the time it comes up. So it's almost like you have the level three cleave from the previous patch mm -hmm. at level one now. As long as you're getting harassed occasionally against a melee hero, so maybe he's a lot better in a one v one. Maybe this is why they're picking him here. The life steal is insane. Like, what was it? The 55. old, it the was, old the one was like was, twenty. That was like, yeah, that was like twenty, and now it's, it's like fifty-five on level one, and it scales up. Yeah, it's yeah. eighty-five percent. That's insane. <laughs> it's actually sick. I mean, think about it. When you start scaling and winning a couple of duels, it's it's really strong. And Legion does well against any melee or pretty yep. much. This you, is a lane bone seven should win for sure. Yeah, usually yes. like you'd you'd see like a beastmaster win against other melee heroes, but like this is gonna be well, a tough lane for. Him. We'll see what happens when the pick gets higher, because then the slow will be higher and then it easier to kite. And so those first couple of levels are a little tough. Look at he's getting, even then. Yeah, but he's got his first skill. He needs to be careful that the boar isn't placed within the creep wave because it can actually. I think he can one shot it with level yeah. three oh, overwhelming. Really? Because it's, okay. it's a summon unit, so it does more damage. Oh, you're right. It does, right? doesn't it? Yeah, he's still. Uh, no, 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 illusion. it's illusion. Yeah, oh, sorry, man. Yeah. I mixed it up. I got bad. so excited there. Yeah. It's like, what a cool counter. Oh, we can see it now. I think Bone7 might try. Okay, never mind. He's probably waiting for level 5. Gotta be. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's got the mango, though. It's got the mana. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Almost. Yeah, see, Almost. Yeah. And that was level 2. That was level 2. Yeah. Oh, now Ooh, he needs to be careful, actually. Nice block. You kind of just lost his advantage in the lane there. He might send out a bottle yeah, now. Yeah, he, he definitely needs to buy a bottle. Like, he... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So other lanes, DK versus Ember, dead even heat in the mid lane, and... I mean, for EG, you kind of mentioned earlier, they like to roam around the Earthshaker of PPD, but they're really forced to just have him stick top and play defensively, which is kind of nice for Cloud9, because they can easily keep track of where Earthshaker is on the map. Yeah, and they'll, the other lanes are just one-on-one, -on -one, so they don't really... Yep. The, the mid laner and the off laner don't feel pressured. How often do you see Queen of Pain getting out farmed by a melee hero in lane? Like, even if it's... It's a three-on-three three lane. Queen of Pain actually getting out farmed by Naga. Very little bit though, but still, it's it's kind of unusual. Naga has really high armor, and she probably has a stout shield as well. So that hero's ability to reduce damage taken is really high. Plus, yeah, he's shield. got a wisp, so he's got double the regen, double efficiency on regen, plus runes. So 
Like, what is he supposed to do against it? Like, 10 armor plus I'm not support, saying he misplayed it. It's just a... Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, just fun I'm to just see, but it's, it's not unexpected here. This game, if all six, all six of the core heroes are just farming. There's no lane which is being won by either oh, team. And, and we, like we also forgot to mention the tether chakra magic. Like everyone's pretty much got full oh, mana, man. so, yeah. so they're just yeah. spamming yeah, yeah. out the lane. So, I mean, eliminate and then E just last hits with Riptide. That's where Queen of Pain's gonna have to spend a lot of money on HP regen, model, Tango, Salves, because yeah. you're gonna get spammed out of this lane very quickly. And not to mention the supports are afraid to like, come near because they're scared of that ensnare, ensnare illuminate combo. Really is dangerous, and that stops Blink. So, Ooh. Mana in trouble. Taking is a he lot level of six? Uh, oh, no. oh wow! I, cool. I was just about to say I saw he was six yeah. earlier, but uh. if you had like a triple remnant there, he does a lot of damage. But... Ooh! Huh? <laughs> Betty wishes that was an eggs. First item eggs. Oh, I'm gonna kill guys. Seven. I just love. I love that line. I love that line when the the duel doesn't end. We weren't finished. <laughs> just gets roared and runs away. It's a good detail. Well, top lane for EG's got some breathing room. Like this is really weird. I, I don't think I've ever seen an Ember Spirit skip. Oh, you got it now. That's even weirder. Yeah, no, those skip you, you, point. No, you'd, right. you'd want like level four. Like at least, like for more, most cases, you know. Doesn't the Searing Chain scale really good? Between it time, it becomes like 120 to 240 damage. It's like it doubles the damage yeah. for the skill point. But the duration's so the same. Yeah. It scales very weirdly as an ability. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before it was like only like up to people just kept it level one because it was like yeah really because it was two seconds on level no one. level two because it was like from two seconds or something. yeah I, I forgot it was a it, long it was OP in the past with a few skill points so they had to nerf it in a way that. That's Ended been like up with really weird numbers. I'm remembering like two iterations. So the last one, people usually went for the build two four four because the second point gave the two second duration. Yeah. yeah. And then before that, people went one four four because the first point was two seconds. So it's yeah. like you always wanted oh, the two yeah, second yeah. chains, and now so Mel is actually taking to level three Initially, for the damage. Initially, players like Sing would go four four zero even. I remember that. Yeah, there was, was a, a build point where you played without Flame Guard. Yeah. Bamba uh, likes that build too. Yeah, because the uh, Slide of Fist was really like I think it was like added one twenty damage yes. to level four. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot better than it is now. Especially like if you're against a range, you can just spam it out. Mm. It's mostly the cooldown though, getting down to six seconds. Yeah, really important. Nice. Octor and Core, man. He <laughs> comes 4.5. That would. Uh, all that lifesteal from Flame Guard. Yeah. Bach is just so <laughs> tanky. He's, his just raw HP allows him to just do just fine in this matchup. He's got 1k HP. Yeah. Seven minutes in the game. It's pretty good. I'd be really interested to see a stat on how many times Vata bottle crows relative in a game relative to the average. It's one thing Cloud9 does a hell of a lot. They really bottle crow their mid laner. Fata gets a lot of priority on the courier, I feel. And well, it's just I'd love to, to see. It's just to make sure like he doesn't really need help, and they can focus. Yeah. 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 No, does no, he have it? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, dude. He mid to mail, got aggressive, but can be cancelled. What's that bounces? God, yeah. Leave. yeah. Even with that, I think Ember they was a bit reluctant. Now. Could go for the like burst flame remnant damage, but that's a really safe careful. ward for for the mid laner. That, that one's almost never dewarded. Most people get too greedy on the high grounds, but these top teams are like, yeah, I'm gonna buy a sentry all the time for mid. So Ooh. this is such a good run for Ember. Exactly. It's, and C9 have not scattered this at all. They're in a hell of a lot of trouble if they factor. don't go back right now. They, uh, it's first blood. And this misery is so dead. Unless he has bottle charges, he Legion's does. coming he does. in. That's from the duel. Uh, All right. Oh, first blood goes to FC Mel. He wants a second. It's Big Daddy who's taking heavy, heavy hits. Gets the jewel off, but the kill comes out from the flame guard. And both seven and Eternal Envy both low. Nice totem from PPD catches out two, and with fierce rotation, it looks like C9 going to get overrun top lane. They've lost three for one, and AUI. Oh. Okay. Envy says I'll take the extra, but. Oh. Oh. It's trapped. No. No. Oh. Wow. Oh. Are you going to blink? Anything? Here comes backup. It's Wiz oh, and miss. the Fissure misses. Oh my gosh. And Fat has come back as well. PPD is trapped. Wow. 
what a godlike play by Envy. That was really, really good. I think he actually got level 6 from the kill he just got before, yeah, so he managed to skill up really quickly and get the song. That was really nice. Uh, a bit of a misstep by Fear, Fear though. yeah. Like, he, 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 he stepped back a bit. Yeah. He needed to get closer to use the Scream to get the kill, but it took him a little bit too long to get in range, and then it, that might have been the difference in getting that kill or a double. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he clicked right of the Naga, but the path was blocked by Witch Doc, so he yeah. tried to take the path around. He just needed to click, like, in the space in between so he could get close enough, but... That stuff's hard to keep track of. It's actually crazy spaces. how much it means. Like, instead yeah. of 4 to 1, that makes it 3 for 3 in, in kill score right now. Yeah, they could have snowballed from that into a 15 yeah. minute stomp. Does EE have a 4 man's like by engine? He does. Oh, yeah. Game changer. <laughs> it's it's actually huge. Um, I I read something on Reddit. I think of someone saying that because Delk on there, level yeah. seven might die. That poor man's is actually buffed, kind of. Yeah, you can buy a uh, poor man's at level one. Poor man's tango. Before you always had like lacking like ten gold. That's true. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think of that. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. okay. That was a close kill. <laughs> Sumail. Ooh. Camera. Very aggressive mid play. I think that was my fault. I was talking about poor man's. My bad. Sorry, we <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> well, you're new to casting. Rule number one, you always blame the dedicated observer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what a noob. <laughs> <laughs> Please. So the level four pig build. Uh, the hawk got nerfed recently. Movement speed, I believe. Yeah, but the vision's still crazy. It got nerfed now. The movement speed of the hawk, yes. Yes. And they changed the scaling of some of the pig stuff, too. Might see a fissure here. They've got the TP's from Smell going for this. Oh, oh, the bridge as well. Ooh. Nice on the way to turn on Envy almost gets the dodge with the very images. And here oh, comes oh, Tempest Bird into a stun as well as a lot of damage. Most of them as a dual two mail. Back to math deaths. Winner. Oh dear. <laughs> Winner! 20 damage. Oh, it's game changer. And it's crazy how like with the new uh, what's it called again? Uh, the new moment of courage. The duel just means so much more for Moment of Courage right now with how much damage it does. It's really, really good. Well, they do get a tower out of it. Are they going to song? No, they don't have song yet, actually. Universe Envis. Mm. Wow, he's almost got a relic. He's 1k away from it. That, that kill in the trees made such a big difference. Wow. He's so far. 2 yeah. 2 on a Naga is such a scary thing. Can EG deal with the illusions decently? I don't really feel like they can. If the, well, I'm I'm sure. Yeah, but it's like... You split them normally yeah, anyway. The, the split push illusions are going to be really obnoxious for EG to deal with. This could be it. We could get to see the Octarine core Naga. But it's not like a game where it's like all on Naga. Like, he's, Fada's having a great game. And also Bone7. Yeah. Like, all the three cores in C9 are just doing really well. Yeah, like, he's cool. almost got his uh, Shadow Blade. Yeah, that's going to make so much pressure. Wow. So it is a, yeah, a poor man shield on Legion Commander. That's going to be a really big item against Queen of Pain and Ember Spirit to be able to initiate in with a Shadow Blade before these heroes can escape. They song for a DD rune there. And no song for three minutes. Oh, Fata gets aggressive. One of the T1 tower and he's completely caught out here. The T1 does go down and Fata Damage. kept alive by the Wiz for a little bit longer, but does trade his life for an Urshik and no tail dies to the Death Warden. Did they get the tower or was it denied? It went to the Radiant, I believe. I think the Siege Creep got yeah. it Radiant. It's okay, they got, they got a little bit of map control. That was a good fight for Ichi, they really needed that. Only lost the support, used a lot of ultimates, but... It, it still feels fine for Cloud9, because Naga's farming, they got the yeah, tower money. that's true. The DK dying is... It, it's like they lost the DK for a tower and an Earthshake. I guess you lose Wisp as well, but that's not really... It doesn't have too many big consequences. If EE keeps us up, he's gonna have his Radiance like within 15, 16 minutes. It's gonna nice. be... Very, very early. What's Fear going for? Do you think he's gonna go for Orchid? Yeah, he is. I don't know. They can blow up the Wisp fast. I mean, if the Wisp keeps dying like he is, then he'll be a target that they can actually grab. They have so many stuns. It's really nice against Legion, too. If you have a, if you get to precast it because of a Hawk, for example, when he blinks into Duel and you just instant Orchid, yeah. he kind of has no, no counterplay, no, like, Manta or... He's not a Manta hero, but you could get, you can get BKB, but... All right. Got, I like this no, pickup by Beastmaster. He goes uh, Blink instead of the typical Necro 3. They realize that they need to get kills, and especially against a Naga, this is a better way to do it. Like a Necro 3, you're not going to be able to run into different range. She'll just sleep you. If you the Blink, you can at least Blink ulti. So he's going to be hunting Naga, basically, and trying to delay the Radiance as long as possible. But I don't think they're going to be able to delay it much. We already saw the Relic flying out. So. 
I mean, he can just basically stay in the jungle. He's got unlimited mana. Yeah. <laughs> it's good they got that tier 1 tower. If they didn't have a tier 1 tower and then Radiance came online, there was no way they could pressure at all. Because yeah. any, any action in the jungle could be punished with TPs. And they have they have great wards up right now. It's like they have four wow, wards. Wow, they, they really do. It's pretty... Oh, there's the blink roll. Fanta. May not find a way. He's trying to shadow amulet, but they're going to Sonic Wave. And that catches No-Tail behind as well. Fanta dead and No-Tail. Very, very low on HP. Nice smoke rotation from EG. That was all five EG heroes, though. And still, Naga farming off of the bottom lane, so... Yeah. They need collateral, but I don't think they're getting in against this. Collateral. Kira Lloyd. It's, again, it doesn't feel like EG are getting enough. It's amazing how tanky that hero is. Like, he just has four points in Dragon's Blood, and it took like 20 seconds for him yeah. to die. They used three ultimates. <laughs> That's space created for EE. E. He doesn't have to worry about Roar, about Sonic Wave, Death Ward. And PPD is at 750 gold, so a long time until they have the salvation of the Blink Tiger. I feel PPDA has to make some big plays. Like, yeah, he's gonna be the game changer in, in the fights. Shadow play? Do they pink? No, that was Radiant Pink. Wow. They're relocating oh, in. Fierce sees it and. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Oh, they do have it. It's got Blink in one. Shadow play about to wear off. Oh, he's so dead. Yeah. You can't stop the Dragon Tail, man. That That's, stun hits you. It's insane. It's so scary. It's one of the scariest stuns, I feel. Especially because the sound's really loud and he pops from invis and you, <laughs> you actually just crap, really you crap yourself. You're like, oh my it's god. It's one of those moments when you're playing, you're like, oh, you, you get shocked. You're like, oh. Shiny <laughs> invisible dragon. <laughs> Stunned me. Uh, Perseverance? I've, uh, I've seen this a few times on, on Sumail. I wonder why he goes treads. Like, is it? Like, I mean, treads. I know treads is buff now, but like, even like in DAC, I saw him go treads a few times. I feel like you can farm faster with it once you get your battle free, because like a uh, sleight of fisting for your for your killing is it works, but but look, like he can jungle so much faster this way. Once he gets battle free, he'll cleave regular camps a lot more rapidly. I think he, he needs the tread switching when he's not getting drum. Yeah. True That's that. probably the main thing. Yeah. Like this hero is really mana dependent, especially if you want to use Fire Emblem more than once. Like if you drop all three into one burst, it's 150 damage. But if you want to jump just two times, it's 300. Yeah, Flame guards more than 100. Like it's yeah. you very quickly lose your entire pool. So. And Tread's got buffed, I think. Yeah, it's like nine. one extra stat. Nine. So yeah. So I think EG did like the smart move here. They got they picked up an early jam. Try to gain back the map control. A lot of Asian. But the radiance is up. <laughs> This is actually it's scary. Really problematic for each. I know. But uh, the front lines of EG have to control the dragon. Oh, Blink in. Bone seven, the one getting caught out, perhaps or PPD. He's going to go down first. Illumina goes flying through, but Bone seven, first casualty and only casualty so far. As EG. It almost seemed like a scouting ult. Like, oh, how many are you? Oh, okay, you're five. We'll yeah. just. Everyone else back out, or we'll just lose the duel. They don't get the damage, and Farmer or Wisp in the same lane. <laughs> he just obviously didn't expect their whole team to be there when he went in for that one, or he thought his team would back him up. Yeah. Kind of felt like a ditch in some ways. But Wisp wasn't there, right? I think No-Tail was already in the bot lane, so he needed to relocate in first, and that, that takes too long. No, it's just space created for EE, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Roar is down. I mean, that's, that is true. Like, I mean, that's pretty much the only spell EE's like, well, afraid of. Once the roar's down, he can just push the lane. He is probably saying, like, you guys just go off. Like, if I if I can get, like, one or two more items, we have no way of losing. Yeah, like, the pressure's on EG. Yeah. But and finding one pick off every couple of minutes doesn't really get EG anything if they're not getting towers. But the map control at the moment is for, on EG's side, because they, they got the early jam up. Yeah, got a roar in 12. Well, looking to engage in, they do get. They did spot C9 with the Hawk. Yeah. yeah, but it's also scary to just engage like that because if they do lose the Hawk, they found Father. That's a that's a nice kill to get. He's far away. He's so tanky. That's okay, no. Oh, that is. Oh wow, that was so cool. Oh wait, he was maledicted. Bone was seven. It Bone seven got a solo kill and fear. He wasn't maledicted, right? No. On the DK, that that was actually the last hit then. Yeah. That just got him. Very close. That is insane. <laughs> Such a tanky hero. He's got 34 damage. Aghanim's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hope your shoes are worn out. Make it easier to eat. That's a big kill though, killing the, the safe farming co-op there. 
And they have the same net worth, too, going into that duel. So he actually beats him. I, I, we obviously didn't see it, but I think he can kill Quack from full health with the He's not with a new too. moment of courage. That seems likely, I guess. Does Bone Seven have blade mail or uh, no? No, no. I, I don't know how he killed him. Maybe it's the new. He probably just did yeah, the um, new item. Yeah, was it, can we see moment of courage Ooh. one more time? We're gonna need some replay guys. Oh wow, production know, value. What's the? Oh, okay, oh, it actually doesn't oh, matter. Oh, so the old moment of courage would have done it as well. I guess okay. I'm they're, they're talking it up. my ass here, but I don't know if it's is this live or this is the uh, this is the jewel. It's going to be watching. a lot of him getting hit. Oh, so uh, he had a full creep wave too, and probably proc'd his thing every time. Wow, that was just enough. The creep wave definitely helped. That was at least 75 damage. All right, meanwhile in the live game, misery caught out and brought down. Another observer mistake. <laughs> Bad time for the replay. What are you thinking? <laughs> Production. <laughs> Get your shit one, together, one Brian. One was observer. One was. Uh, <laughs> so we can fire weapons, and then we can also get rid of k pop We're gonna be running out of people working for us by the end of the, today. Ee uh, e is just getting massive. He's already up to 10k network. He's got his travel up. He's, he's gonna be all over the map already. It's very rare we see a Naga being this far ahead because teams are usually putting a lot of emphasis on shutting down Naga yeah. as much as possible because they know this can't happen. But and, and they went aggressive kind of trialing, yeah. you know, like, and they did it successfully. It was a good trialing though, and it was the support Earthshaker. What's Earthshaker gonna do? So it's like, fought again. Space, don't worry. Casting their spells. He's not gonna die. Relocate, oh, not even. They could relocate him out, but not gonna go for it. Instead, just gonna tether him up, overcharge, and meanwhile, AUI. Okay. Wisp dead. Okay. okay. One useful thing the Emma can do, still caught in the instep. Dragon Tell may be coming in soon, but Fandel loses the ulti form. Here comes Universe, Blink, Scream from Fear. Gets the Dragon Knight. He's gonna go back in. Uh, Sumail wants it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Universe is gonna go down, the gem. Mm -hmm. She'll be able to be reclaimed by Fear. Looks like uh, the gem hits the deck and. D in trouble. A song at 13, but. Ooh, Ooh he missed the chain. The miss. They missed Chain and Fissure. I think Queen of Pain, yeah, Queen of Pain recovered Gem. Okay, that was really good for EG. Yes, I agree. That feels like what's the first recap on that. Good Did fight they actually they gain? Had. Okay, 1300. Wow, that's more than I thought. Felt like that was. Yeah, it couldn't be a little more important heroes. I mean, yeah. Sumail got a solo kill on the Wisp while they were busy with the other heroes. That's true. Uh, the duel yeah, happened, but it didn't get a kill, I don't believe. I don't think the Witch Doctor died in that fight, so. Yeah, but the Naga he did, he did die, but it wasn't the duel kill. Naga got the kill. They weaved really well in and out was the main thing, and even when they went on the Ember Spirit, he was able to jump out of the way, waste the ensnare, and then uh, re-engage. Orchid's finished, so they gotta worry about that as well. But he's so soft. Like, he needs... I don't know. Should he go BKB? But there's duel, you know, it's like... And he's gonna get Ag, so... I think yeah. Shiva's is good. Yeah. As I well. think Ag oh, is there the is. There's the first piece, guys. Or... Oh. It's actually the BKB counter if you think about it. Silver's you edge. Wait out that 10 second BKB. What if he gets Lotus Orb and then he they like uh, duel each other and then it's like a double duel? <laughs> double duel. <laughs> Does that, that? I think that should you work, get twice right? Twice as much damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, that okay. might be possible. It, Someone's gotta try it. Maybe it gives double damage because one initiates yeah. duel and the. Uh, I don't know. That sounds I feel weird. Like yeah, there's no way back that, and instead getting plus 18 uh, damage, being plus 36. That's like. <laughs> that's the dream. That's the double up. There's no way you can cast. Well. Yeah, maybe with Lotus. Ooh, it? Oh, that's one, Lotus. I think one of them was in range. Yeah. Yeah, they have an observer word just yeah. right there. Didn't spot the three behind, but... Will they collapse on this, or are they just gonna... Naga, away? Naga's just gonna go crazy this game. Like, how close is PPD from his dagger? Does he have it? No. Oh, he bought Tranquils instead. Yeah, moving back. Oh, right. Tranquils pretty good versus Radiance, at least. As long as they don't hit you, you'll still regen. They probably figured that OBS like saw just the, the, the smoke effect. Ooh, this could be a class. Oh, they could relocate back though. Yeah, but look at it. If they choose to, they're going to try to kill oh, the, the West. Oh, he sees the West. There's no Naga. There's no Legion at this point. Vato showed himself hitting the team Tau when yeah. two of his teammates, two of his core hero teammates, are up top lane. He's See, basically right. saying, "Oh, Samel." Oh Assist from Radiance Illusions. Yep. It feels like C9 are just happy to give EG a kill here or there if they're pushing towers and getting map control elsewhere. I feel C9 is just very good at splitting, like the pressure. It's 
Like even though like EG would get a trade off, it's either like the Naga's farming somewhere else or they're pushing, they're pressuring another lane. Yeah. And has EE died at all this game? I don't think so. Right? Once. No, oh, no, I'm no sorry. he didn't. Yeah, I was thinking of the last game. The juke yeah. in the trees or whatever earlier today for okay. this game. True. It's almost got Manta. Does what? he go Manta or does he go hard? Uh, uh, Naga? I Manta, feel like... I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Manta, yeah, yeah, Core. Yeah, 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 there yeah, we yeah, go. I'm with Cinder and Manta, Octarine, Core. I think they're... Oh, they're Duelist ready again. Goodbye, Wish Shocker. Oh, he's mega dead. He's back up nearby, but they're not going to get here in time to save him. Is there an escape plan here? Possibly a relocate if they need it, but... EG just do not really want to fight this one. Can they it's grab like, the skill? There's a roar. Yeah, they don't have enough damage. <laughs> They'll turn around if they need to. Okay. Ooh, almost caught him with the song. While mid. Look how deep Fada's playing. Like, he just went past the tier 2 mid tower. <laughs> looking for kills. Uh, First battle fury up. What do you think someone else's next item's gonna be? Lincoln's. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Space created. Um, <laughs> maybe another Battle Fury? Is that unreasonable? He even relocated yeah, bottom lane, by the way, there. That's that's what's also insane. I was gonna say that. that was, leave the Wisp and. They're so good at doing this. Like, just like. Oh see, look. Okay, they got the Wisp. Look, now their bottom tower is gonna, like, gonna go down. But they've got no roar. They can't really. I mean, maybe they save the tower, but they're not getting kills. They're just so good at just spreading the map. What should Samel get though? Hmm. Like damage. I Lincoln's think. is really good against uh, Legion Commander. That's it's true. also nice against Dragon Knight stun, but it really depends on the initiation and the type of fight. Uh, it's great for sustain too. Kind of benefits a lot from the from the mana. Yeah, but the regen. But they need damage, and he needs MKB like to clear out the illusions also. You know? They're trying to. Get, Aoi's he needs almost too much. Axe, by the way, Aoi's actually trying to farm up some damage for the team. Yeah, oh, but true. that that evasion from the illusions. From the Radiant. Uh, I, it doesn't it does. blind. No, no it it's not evasion, it doesn't it's give, blind. Oh, it, so it, it doesn't work. like the ward. Oh, oh, it's like a debuff on the heroes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It's okay. an aura miss. Okay. Yeah. So I guess if you BKB, it doesn't work or something. Okay. Yeah, because the Radiance doesn't affect. Okay, okay. So. Yeah. Like, just like a minute ago, they were all at bottom. Now they're all at top. <laughs> <laughs> Must be so nice playing an Aga with a with a Caudal, because usually they have a lot of mana blocks Ooh, at this stage. EG the saw the smoke. They have a ward right there. Okay, so are they going to fight it, or are they going to do something else? They kind of have that. to take advantage of the of this in the fight. I think if they just dodge, yeah. they know they're losing. So. They're positioning on the high ground, hoping to scout it out. But yeah, but song's up, so if everything goes bad for C9, they could just song <laughs> run away. Uh, it's tough for EG. They'd, they'd almost have to initiate on Naga and kill him right at the start without a relocate. I think that's why they played it safer, I guess. Necker 1. Gem still up. At least they've had gem control. There aren't very many wards on their side of the map, and that's definitely hurting C9 there. Yeah. Just this one ward, which has been here for a lot of the game, but not giving that much aggressive vision right now. Yeah, that one there. But just look at that root <laughs> That's insane. He will 6 slot one. fairly fast. Yeah. But then he'll stop, I guess. And they do have a decent counter with the Ember Spirit. If Ember Spirit can get a lot of farm, and he can use the Sleight of Fist at the right time, it can actually do an insane amount of damage, because you can get cleave off of those illusions. You know it's a Cloud9 game when... Pause. Oh, okay. I think they have a... I can't yes. remember if I saw an actual stat oh, yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they think have, I saw yeah. a stat on that. They have twice as many pauses yep. as yeah. any other team in the West. Or, yeah. I think it was or twice twice the average. I think K-pop did a stat on it, and it was yeah, it was it was number of pauses per game, not like pause time, pause duration. Yeah. But I think it was like uh, Team Secret who were like 1.4, and Cloud9 is like 3. Point something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is in there. This is not them being the ones you pause, but like. A, a, a game with Cloud9 averages that many pauses per game. Oh, okay. Maybe it's the lengthen because of the duration of games they play or something. Oh, that's true. They've I'm had a couple sure of really ridiculously long games. I, I feel like true. they got targeted yeah, a lot for DDoS. They're holding the record, right? For like the longest oh, game. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah, 200 was, minute game against them. SFC. That didn't even have that many pauses, I think. Oh, it didn't. There was like a pause insane. maybe like two hours in where oh, yeah, people you were like, that, right? I need to pee. <laughs> and everyone's <laughs> like, you know what? I totally understand. You can you can take that. I watched like the highlights of it. And even the highlights itself was like 20 minutes long. I'm like, what? Cloud9 average. Average ma match length 42 and a bit minutes. They've That's had some long. insanely long games. So far this tournament, one fast, quick win. So, um, 
Another DD on Legion Commander. He's got plus 62 damage. He could solo kill just about anybody on EG right now. Yeah. Except for maybe Beastmaster, I would say. I think he can kill him even. He's got his BKB too, so... It's... Yeah. Uh, he has nothing to fear. No and <laughs> Not Aww. yet. Just wait it out. Wait it out. You never I mean, know. The game's going. I'm happy. I don't hours. need to eat that shoe. Uh, Your Coddle has an axe too, so you're especially happy. I'm not going to eat shoes if Coddle buys an axe. That's. I'm going to eat a shoe if it's someone is six slotted and Coddle and doesn't okay. buy an axe. Okay. It, it's just really weird. Six slotted how, how Valve thought about like, hey, let's give an Agnims upgrade. I mean, for because like it's Legion commanders are like one of us here is like he either like snowballs because he got, gets a lot of duels, so the duels don't even last that long, mm -hmm. or he's so behind that he'll just die like when he duels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he'll eventually lose <laughs> unless you get like a really under farm support like Lion or something yeah. who doesn't have a lot of good right click and low they HP. They should have given him the axe treatment where it gets like a really short cooldown. That would be fun. <laughs> that would oh. Maybe broke it. If that you snowballed, you would snowball so hard. Yeah, you would. And then if, in the games where you're struggling, it wouldn't help you catch up. So. I do believe the dual damage counts. This is what he's really. It's like no. four, six hundred, something like that. Really? I think the highest I've ever seen. Yeah, that's like probably a Dota 1 limitation. It sounds like a Dota 1 thing. I'm pretty sure there's no camp in Dota 2. I don't know. Though. Well, usually the game's over if you win that much. So, like, I don't think anyone can fight Legion Commander <laughs> when it comes to that point. Free yeah. this is This is pretty big for EG. Yeah, that was, that's what they needed. Blink, Earth Shaker, Witch Doctor Axe. Uh, Lots of good huge. stuff. It's it's look, their team fight's coming together. They're ready to fight basically. No heroes missing anything except for maybe like eggs on clock would be nice. But what do you guys uh, Cloudland uh, don't have to fight them though. They, yeah, no, they, they just naga them. Exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say that like, they don't have to flash them at all. What were you gonna say, Sundry? Uh, what do you think about Witch Doctor skill though? I feel like this is pretty unusual. He's got Whoa. nine skill points and skills and three in stats, right? He's level twelve, that's five, seven, nine, yeah. yeah. So he actually didn't max out Maledict or Heal, but he's just tanking out with stats. That's I feel like this is unusual. But mm. he had three in stats. It wasn't that. He, he, much. he didn't need. He doesn't need it to have like all of his spells available or anything. You have more than enough mana with an eggs. I think like at early he was leveling up stats just to like survive a bit more in the okay. lane, and then now he's like slowly leveling up his skills. But oh, so he had the stat points in the lane. I think so. I, we, we didn't really see. He was four one one early on. I saw. Oh, okay. But I don't know that was when he was level seven. Oh, so he had all his points. Okay, stats okay, um, I, I feel I guess this is like maybe an anti Naga illusion game. Like against Naga yeah. illusions, I, I guess you could get heal. I would get heal versus illusions, but there's a lot of heroes that Maledix good for, but they have BKBs. So exactly, I guess that's why he gave up on leveling Maledix, yeah. like whatever. I can see Maledix not being used for this game, but heal. Alright, no Octarine core. Not yet, at least. Pointing. Well, can drain it's their mana. Standard diffusal blow. Well. Will this work? Like you put Octane Core, like if you're like seven slot, like you put Octane Core, you use like your, all your images and then you remove it. It'll work, yeah. The cooldown will still be like quick, yeah. reduced, right? It's based on when you cast it. Yeah, yeah I think so. Ooh. Wow, all well, that info. That's, That's some okay. good damage. They, that one, he died pretty fast. His armor yeah. is not doing it as much. It must have been the axe. Yeah, boosting it up to yeah, 180 plus, or plus whatever. 30 damage when you get Agnims on Witch Doctor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 150 or 120. Okay. 90. It's 90 uh, right a medallion now. would be really good this game too, actually, it's, I feel. Who buys it is the main problem. I guess or probably solo crest. Uh, what about yeah. Beastmaster? At once his Necro 3 is finished? Solo Crest is really good. Yeah. I like that one. If you can get it early on. Like, Especially versus Legion. I, I feel that mana, oh, the item has to have like a mana cost. Because it's like, if you can, you can snowball really hard, but like if you get that early yeah. on. This mm -hmm. 30% evasion is yeah. pretty big, like 20 minutes in. We have been seeing a lot of supports rushing it. Uh, FY rushed it on his Mirana in the last set, I believe. Yep, we saw one. I think Puffy, Puffy was rushing it on his Dazzle. That one makes a lot of sense, though, because yeah. Dazzle's damage is all physical, so uh, you can buff up your Poison Touch, your Shadow Waves. Plus, you can use it on Grave targets, maybe, so give him a higher chance of surviving after the Grave. It's really synergistic with that hero, but like on Potom, for example, it doesn't buff any of her damage directly because it doesn't increase her magic damage. So, so Ember is going for Lincoln's. Yeah. Okay. I think it makes sense. It's yeah, he definitely needs it. Like It's pretty good here. The question was if it was the item he would get now or get like third or fourth. Um, it helps him like push in deeper. So, like, you know, he can push out the lanes more without being scared unless like... He doesn't get soloed by Dragon Knight anymore or something like that. Or he doesn't get soloed by a C. Yeah. But he can still easily die. He can get caught by a song and they relocate or something. Or a force staff on Dragon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Next level. Gotta break that link. Oh, what's Kato going? Is Kato going Agonim? Oh, 
Okay. Oh boy, here we it's go. A, it's not like the heal's gonna be super scary because Cloud9 aren't just five man pushing. They're completely splitting the map, so I don't see the heal being a huge part it's of this. Division, I feel. Yeah. Division and permanent ultimate for recalls. Yeah, so you can all spam the recalls. Yeah. yeah. Still, I, yeah, still seems to be a good item. Because like, Cloud9 never got the gem from EG, right? So nice. that vision is yeah. gonna be really helpful. Does uh, blinding and light stop? Slight of this. They did not right scout there. the Lincolns, I don't believe. He blocked the DK stun, I think? Yeah. Yep. So what's Bone 7 going for? He, too. He's got a ultimate orb. Uh, sheep stick? Uh, Scotty. Yeah, that's weird. But then, like, it's, I mean, sheep stick's always a good Lincoln's item. Lincolns for raw, potentially? Yeah, well, yeah, like, they can just put the Lincolns on um, the DK and then he can just yeah. siege. Yeah. They haven't got many good spells to bring the Lincolns, really. I feel like Bone Seven's one player that actually buys Hex a lot on his heroes. Very often, he'll buy it on like Clockworks, and he bought it on a Phoenix one game at Starlighter. He buys sheep very often. I mean, it's just such a good item to have. Yeah. Ooh, PPD was spotted. Maybe a bit of an ulti waste, but yeah. he needed to get the kill because he was outside of the range. I mean, Cloud 9s not in any rush, like because EG has the Aegis, right? Uh, I think it's expiring like in a minute or so. Yeah, I think Klopp has it still. Yeah. Let's see, a minute. Bit of an interesting game. Oh. Like, Cloud9 have a ridiculously farm Naga. So far ahead of everyone, but it's EG who seem to be controlling things a bit better right now. Ooh, he might go in. There's an end. Uh oh. Dude, oh, that was not the right way to go. Oh. That was. He was. He panicked. Okay, hard. position. Sleep, until sleep. he ulti. Someone got. That's an extra. Wow, there's just oh, fights everywhere. Go. Bonus kill. Oh, what are you gonna do, Ops? Wanna <laughs> <laughs> uh, make fun of you either way? <laughs> oh, oh, missed the wisp kill. What? Wow, no, come no. on. <laughs> oh, that was so obvious, yeah. too. <laughs> we even pointed it out. Like, we, we queued him. We told him there was action going on. Where's the picture in picture? Ship production. <laughs> <laughs> At least I got one kill. Lucian Sumail is obviously pretty bad here. And and to think about it, like Cloud 9s lineup, it's so hard to push into those two heroes, Legion Commander and, and Keeper of the Light. They just clear the creep wave within with those two spells. Yeah. It's insane. It's a tough. It's gonna be so tough for and EG. It, like if you just look at win condition, I can see EG getting all the items in the world. I still can't imagine. Yeah. How they How do you reliably that? destroy, like, even tier 2 towers seems almost impossible right now when you look at their line. And it's not even just the deep push of LC and Coddle, it's just Naga alone. Yeah. It's not, it's only Naga I'm thinking about. Like, yeah. the other things just makes it even harder, but just the Naga. They Naga has really Scotty. Good. good luck now. Naga's even tankier. Well, so. I'm really prioritizing item. items which give his illusions more damage. The level 2 defusal didn't even use a single defusal charge and he upgraded the Scotty for more edgy. Not only t take your and how to kill, but a lot of edgy. Yeah, they're gonna see uh, I think. Because Eric Shaker's down. That's the big... Oh, they went for a smoke. Okay. The... Pretty weird. Unconventional, so yeah. <laughs> Not really a normal smoke spot. I, I guess, guess no, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Gonna, they're just gonna song or just like try to get a pick off. Got the really cool synergy the cuddle, yeah. between these two heroes, actually. That's nice. All right, well they're gonna push them. I've always wanted to see like a team with like Night Stalker and just hold them with actions. <laughs> oh my <laughs> well. god! The roar, maybe gonna keep smell a bit longer. Luminic goes flying through boats. In the first wow, that roar! Which Doctor Ultimate? Wow. The song came way too late to prevent it, and that just saved DG that fight. Oh, they need collateral now. They really need a bonus. Junior Fisher gonna help and PPD running in gets blinded forward. Unfortunately gets stunned up by Fata. Can't get off the Echo Slam just yet. Will not get a chance to. Universe getting low. Illuminate goes through. Heals up Fata. Fata still alive for a bit longer, but he finally gets brought down before EG gets sent running. Sumo has the way out. Doesn't have a remnant, I don't believe it. Well, they really needed a collateral, but. I really don't they blame went for it. I don't blame them for going for that, but yeah. the fact that PPD got shut down like that just lost them the, the entire fight. My, I don't know if he got a little bit ahead of himself and got too excited to get in and get the kills, but ideally you let the the Ember Spirit lead the charge of it there, and if he soaks up all the stuns, then you get your echo. Yep. Instead he he went in and took the Dragon Knight, Dragon Tail. And wow, this is pretty ballsy. Someone else. He's, he's gonna go. Oh, he's got a remnant. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's stuck there. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> the miss. GG, Cloud9, 2 0. Oh, wow. Evil geniuses. Told you, Perk. You got me. But thanks for the odds. No problem. Thanks for the Bugattis. Glad we didn't bet. I feel like just our. So you thought EG was going to win? I thought it was more EG favorite. Yeah, I didn't expect a Cloud9. He zero. said it'll be like either a 2 1 one way, 2 on the other way, or a 2 0 EG. Basically, three of the four scenarios he said. The I one was, he didn't say. I was wrong. <laughs> I was definitely. Was